I think just about every vehicle that's put out nowadays with a turbocharger has a water-cooled turbocharger. And I think there's probably a misconception about water-cooled turbocharging. It's not really there for while you're running. That's kind of a secondary purpose because oil is a fine coolant as long as it's circulating through your bearing and your turbocharger. It's when you shut down. That's when you really need the water cooling. And there's something called heat soak, which is pretty obvious, right? It's when the exhaust, the turbocharger is very hot, you know, particularly when you're towing. This is really important to idle. Over idling, that's another problem. Talk about it real briefly. But the water cooled turbochargers are there for when you shut down because that heat soak is going to be building up into that turbocharger bearing and that oil can get to a point where it actually, what they call coking, and it forms a material that's supposedly, I've heard, harder than a diamond. So it can really tear up that bearing in the turbocharger. With water-cooled turbochargers, as I say, all of these VGT turbines nowadays just about are water-cooled. You don't have to idle as much. You st still have to idle if you're towing. I say idle. But because water cooling might, might give you about 100 degrees lower the, might lower the temperature 100 degrees. Maybe a little more, depends. But what it does when you shut down is the cool water circulates, it starts expanding in that turbocharger. And the cool water starts circulating, siphoning. They call it thermal siphoning is a proper term. You can look it up. Thermal siphoning starts when you shut down and you start getting heat expansion. Well, it starts drawing water from the cool side back to the hot side of the, of the turbocharger and thus cools down that bearing and keeps that bearing cool. Now, as I say, that's only good for just, you know, 100 or so degrees. If you're towing along at, you know, a bit, particularly a big, heavy load, and you are pull up to a building station or whatever, you don't want to just shut that diesel off. You want to idle. If you don't have a, an exhaust temp gauge, idle that thing for at least five minutes. In fact, I don't, when I fuel up, even if it's 10, 15 minutes, I don't shut down. My temperature rarely goes below 400 degrees on my turbo, even even at at that when I'm towing hard. And the longer you tow, you know, like if you've been towing for an hour, two hours, or whatever, that heat holds in there pretty well. So it takes a while to cool down. Now, do you want to go to you know Home Depot and sit in the parking lot and let your diesel idle for 30, 45 minutes? No, that's going the opposite way, and that's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt the bearings. Well, it's going to hurt the. It's not going to hurt the bearings. It's going to hurt the engine, uh, cylinder walls, the um, injectors, valves. All that's going to get coated with varnish, and over the long term, it will damage the engine, and reduce, cause more wear, and reduce the efficiency of the engine, and you know all of that. So don't over idle your engine. But don't under idle it either when you're towing. As I said, if, you're, if you don't have a gauge and you've been towing highway speeds, et cetera, and you're fueling up, don't shut that engine off. You know, 10, 15 minutes, it's probably not going to drop much below 400 degrees. It's not, certainly not going to get into the range where you've got to worry about varnishing. It's just when you're running around town and it's cool and that sort of thing. The manual says idle five minutes when you've highway speeds and that sort of thing. That might be a little on the light side for me. I know it is when I'm towing because I've timed it and I got some videos on that. But just keep that in mind. Uh, that heat soak will will get back to that bearing, and that's what the water cooling is for. And all of these new engines that the Volkswagen my wife has, same thing. It's got a uh, turbocharger. It's, a, it's, it's not a VGT though I don't think. 
it's got a, a waste gate on it and just a fixed turbo speed. I'm not sure about that. But they're all water cooled. And that's, that's the purpose of the water cooling is when you shut down, not so much when you're running because as I say, oil is fine lubricant. I hope this helps. Keep that in mind. Take care of that engine. It'll take care of you. Appreciate you guys watching my video. And until next time, adios.